how to create a free website with wix.com hi guys welcome back today i am going to show you how you can create your own website with wix.com for free so let's get started what you have to do is simply come to wix.com and you will land on this platform right here wix is an amazing platform that gives you the freedom to create design and manage your own website you can create website in any niche you can create a blog business website online store design website photography website or an educational website as well so without any further ado let's get started and let's start creating our website so what you have to do is click on get started now wix is free you don't need a credit card to try out wix so you simply sign up with your google account or you can simply sign up with your facebook as well i have signed up with my google account and it was so easy it literally takes one second so once you sign up with your google account or if you log in this is where you will get this is the my sites where you will be able to see all the sites that you already have created uh, or any templates that you have already used we are going to be creating our brand new website and i will show you how to do that so what you have to do is click on create new site simply click on create new site and it will take you to the editor where we can go ahead and create our amazing website now we have two options wix or editor x now you might be wondering that what is this well it is super simple wix is a editor that wix already had now editor x is an update that wix came with it is also you know powered by wix it is just an editor but more upgraded and with more functions so if you are looking to create a very professional website and if you are already a you know professional you have experience in creating websites you can go with this editor x right here uh, but wix these two actually have very similar features and you can create very amazing websites with both of these so i am sticking with wix because most of the people will want to create their simple website with wix or a professional website wix is the you know basic uh website builder that wix.com has so i am going with wix.com now what kind of website are you creating you have to select the website type that you want to create of course you will have a website type in your mind your online store your portfolio your blog consultant or technology company so i am going with a blog website that's what i want to create so i will simply click on blog and then i can go for you know different category for blog as well for example art blog music blog and it is a uh, you know make a blog holiday blog lifestyle any anything you want to so i am going with a simple blog that's it and then we will simply click on next you can simply you know select whatever you want to select and it will allow you to create your own portfolio or your online store so now what do you want to add to your website these are the different you know uh, pages that i can add to my blog that i am going to create so uh, my website right now will have a built-in blog then it will have a chat section then an online store so i am going to add an online store as well into my website uh, a page for online store and for chat i i don't want chat so i will you know uncheck this one once you have done that after you also have you know other options for example instagram feed you can add booking page you can add events page and then pricing plan page as well so for now i am going with blog and online store so simply click on next now you have to select that you want to create the website from the scratch or you want to go for a template uh, that wix has wix has thousands of templates to choose from i am going for a template and i will edit a template because it becomes really easy for you to you know manage your website better and you can actually create very creative and professional websites but if you have an experience in creating the websites and if you want to create a website from the scratch you can go ahead and choose that option but again we can customize these templates the way we want to so it's fine if you're going with a template you can you know customize it the way you want it to be so i have these blog options different blogs uh so i can go for any blog a personal blog then we have wellness blog a 
music podcast travel blog so let's go with this template right here now i can view it or go to edit let's go to edit i don't want to waste your time uh, so we will just you know start editing and let me show you the different options we get in wix so my template has been loaded you can see right here this was the template that i selected now i have all of these different options to go for let me show you the options so we have the add option add means we can add as many pages as we want to if i want to add a page i will simply click on add and it will allow me to add a page to my uh you know uh, blog and i can go ahead and add different uh you know blocks as well for example i can add text i can add buttons i can add gallery list social anything i want to add to my website i will simply choose from here and then when we go for any of the uh, you know options for example if i'm going with a button option then we get a lot of templates to choose from in the buttons you will get themed text and icon icon buttons then we have image then we have document then we have itunes as well so you can go for a themed one and this will allow you to add it right here like these templates are already created so each option has further many options for you to choose from this is the you know best thing about wix because wix allows you to you know create these amazing websites then we have the menu and pages well in the ad you add different options and right here this is actually for just pages so if you want to add a page you will simply click on right here so these are the page that i have right now home my blog about and contact page if i want to add another page i will simply click right here if i want to delete a page i can simply go ahead and click on these three icons and then i can copy it duplicate it hide it delete it and create a sub page as well for now i have home my blog about and content i think these four pages look pretty good uh, also i can go ahead and you know do the seo basics as well from this option right here after that we have the site design that what design you want to go for this is the site theme right now these are the different colors if i want to customize it i want to customize the theme of my website i can go ahead and do that uh, right here then we have add app option where i can go for wix app market and it will allow me to add different ad apps to my website then we have media in media i will be able to find different photos and videos that i have uploaded on wix right here that i can add to my website and then my blog where i can write blogs because it is a blog website right so it will allow me to create a new blog where i will be able to write my blogs or what we do usually we can you know simply add or upload a blog that you have already written in your uh you know word or where you write your blog it will also uh, you know allow you to write a blog on the website and then we have the my store option because i added store to my website so i am getting this option as well and then of course the business tools are available so this is the look of the website if you are wondering that how the website will look so these are the different you know pages and this is what it will look like right now they have added their pictures what i will do is i will simply customize everything the way i want to you simply click on any of the box these all are boxes like i have selected this one right here so i will click on edit text because i want to edit the text and give it the name i want to give so i have added my blog like this uh, for example whatever name you want to give right so you will uh, write here you will add it and then you can simply go ahead and edit it the way you want to for example if i want to change the font i can go ahead and change the font as well uh, for example i can go with a more you know bold one okay this looks good uh, i can make it bold i can underline it i can change the color of my text right here as well if it looks good i will simply you know click right here and it will be saved after that i can go ahead and you know customize this one as well if i want a vertical menu it will be vertical if i want to change the header footer i can do whatever i want to and then the images right here uh, if i want to upload an image from my gallery of course then i will simply add it from there uh, then i can change the button i can change the color so wherever you you know click you will see these boxes and these boxes can be customized like if you click on it it will allow you to edit it so you simply you know 
now edit it out whatever you want to do you want to add an element uh, you want to change the layout you want to design it you want to animate it you want to add the business tools whatever you want to if you want to add an element for example if i want to add uh you know a image in it or maybe a new blog i can simply click on add element and i will be able to do so and I can change the layout of this blog as well. So this one actually looks good, like first name, last name, email, and leave a message. So thanks for submitting. So I don't think anything needs to be changed from here. Let me know what's in your mind. Okay, this page is good. And if we go above, find me on Instagram. Okay, I do not want this. This one does not look good. So I will simply delete this one. You go to settings and you simply click on delete and it will be deleted now it is an empty column again i will scroll down and i did not like uh this right here uh let the post come to you okay i do not want this because i have added this uh right here i don't think so that anybody will like to you know uh, add their email address again and again so what i have to do is i will simply click on this right here this block which is a column two and i will simply delete it so now we have this right here and i can now add anything else if i want to i will click on this item right here add strip and then i can just go ahead and add anything else for example instead of that i can go for maybe a booking page or i can go for an event and i will be able to add that so i will simply click on add to my site and it will be added right here if i want to add a text or button right here i can do so i can add a new box and whatever i want to so this depends on you that how you want to you know customize your website the way you want to of course it will take a little time uh, when you will be doing that because you need to you know customize everything one by one and you will add your images you will add your information and everything so once your website is done all you have to do is simply click on save and it will be saved in your my sites option that i showed you in the start or you can publish it right here uh, with Wix. So I am not going to publish this one because it was just for uh, the video. So I will simply click on save and it will be saved to my sites. So you can see right here, this is my URL for my website and this is how easy it is to create your own website with wix now i can just simply go ahead and publish it or it is saved with my other websites so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to create a website with wix.com make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel